Hey Gary, this is Chris Grenier with America Homes and I just got your email with quite a few good questions here and rather than uh, just emailing you back with a complete book worth of answers, I figured I'll take a few moments, make you a quick video message, say hello, uh, introduce myself and uh, just kind of get right to it. Your first question is can mortgages be obtained through the US for these properties and the answer is yes. Uh, we work with a great loan program called Loans USA. All you have to do is fill out a simple what's called a 1003 form. It just asks for your basic information in terms of uh, employment, income, assets, liabilities, like any other mortgage application form. Now it's a simple six to seven page application uh, and, and we can usually get you pre-qualified within a week or two and fortunately Nine times out of ten, if you have a decent amount of income and you don't have absurd amount of liability, getting approved will not be a problem for these for, uh, foreclosure properties. Uh, the next question is, what are the management costs? The management company we work with is Rentals Orlando. They specialize in overseas investors. We worked with them for about four and a half years now, and they have over 300 properties of ours all of which went to investors, whether they are in the UK, Ireland, uh, different parts of Europe, Asia, Australia, all around the world. So they have a very good specialty in dealing with clients scattered throughout every corner of the globe. So they have a great automated system that sends you a monthly statement. They make sure you are obviously are receiving any inquiries that are coming in from the tenants. Depending on what the issue is, they handle 90% of all issues. Um, and their cost of 10% of the rental income. That's the standard norm throughout the entire industry. So it's nothing that is out of the, out of the ordinary. Uh, are there any setup costs involved is your next question. Now I'm assuming you're referring to the management uh, setup costs. And the only fee there is a one month finders fee. So when they do get a tenant into the property, again, which is an industry norm, so let's say if uh, rents a thousand dollars a month, they would the, the tenant would pay a thousand dollars for the first month's rent, and then also a thousand dollars security deposit. So depending on how you want to handle it, one of those two payments can kind of go towards the management company for the setup costs, the finder's fee, if you will, and that kind of prevents you from having to pay anything extra out of pocket for that cost. How is rent collected and paid? Every single month, the tenant either mails a check or comes to our office, which is located directly across the street from Universal Studios in Orlando, and drops off a rent check, because Rentals Orlando has a satellite office inside of our office. Uh, I actually made a YouTube video a few months ago talking about um, the, you know, kind of giving you a video tour of our office, kind of, you know, inside look. Uh, and so they do have a subsection of our general area. So tenants come in here, they drop off the check every month, and I can give you the paperwork to set up a U.S. bank account through SunTrust Bank, and then she just deposited it every month for you. You'll have online access to the money. So just like any other bank, if you want to withdraw, deposit money electronically, you can do so. You'll receive a debit card that you can use pretty much worldwide. I, I forget if it's a Visa or MasterCard, but you know anybody who accepts a major credit card. Uh, what are the mortgage rates currently? Currently, right now, for foreign investors, mortgage rates are anywhere from 55 to 12%. Now, that's a pretty big variance, but fortunately, the rates that we've seen recently with Loans USA, the program we work with, they average about 6.2%. And that's pretty accurate as to what you would receive, given the fact you have decent credit and uh, you know can put a good down payment down, which is... By the way, uh, about 30 percent loan to mortgage loan rates are about twenty five to thirty five percent down payment, and then the rest can, you can be mortgaged. Uh, what is the percentage annually? Uh, if you're referring to the return net return annually, depending on the property specifically, it could be anywhere from seven to ten percent net return is the types of returns that we see on our properties. Current value is this through the agent, and how is it compared with other properties in the same area? If you're referring to the specific property that you replied on, the, the Disney Townhouse, which is called uh, Still Drive, it's in a community called Serenity. Now, this property was built in 2007. It was the first phase of properties built in this development, and 
the developer basically, long story short, went into foreclosure in 2009, and the first phase properties, which is this one, was sold for $276,000 in 2007. So it went into foreclosure, and now that the economy is coming back and the real estate market is essentially booming, the, the developer is building again the rest of the phases in that development. Now, the exact same floor plan, exact same townhouse, is being built for $169,000, not including any upgrades, such as uh, the stainless steel appliances you saw, the granite countertops, and the, uh, the wood flooring that you saw in the video. So, given the fact that this property is $139, and today the exact same property is being sold for $169, that's an extraordinary value. Because in two or three years down the road, when the development keeps raising in price, the next phase is scheduled to be priced at 205 for the same floor plan. So what's gonna happen is in that development, your price per square foot, even though it is a couple of years older, it's still pretty young at 2007. It's gonna naturally carry with the price per square foot of the new builds, uh, all in any legal fees. The only legal fees that you would incur are your closing costs. And the closing package is $3,500 and that includes everything from the solicitors to the title transfer, your title insurance, uh, the transaction fee, um, any stamp costs. So that's all bundled into one package for $3,500. And that's tacked on at your closing. Freehold or leasehold. The property is 100% freehold. You own it forever. Uh, you can sell it, pass it down, give it away, do whatever you wish with the property at that time after you own it, being a freehold property. Viewing, is there any funding towards traveling to the USA? Uh, we do not offer a subsidized trip per se. So if you just wanted to come over and view properties, then you're more than welcome to. We, we can certainly help you uh, find um, hotels in the area, um, any flights. And if you come over here and you do buy a property and you do invest in uh, specific units that we have on inventory, then we will be able to subsidize the trip at that point. But just offering a, a specifically discounted viewing trip is not something we no longer do. Um, and your next question is, we have many friends and family who are interested in buying. I, I certainly look forward to, to building a relationship. You know, we've been uh, one of the quickest growing real estate investment firms in Central Florida for the past four years. We've sold hundreds of properties and, you know, fortunately, many of those are built upon referrals and different friends and families that are first-time clients then introduced to us. So, you know, we are a fully licensed real estate brokerage firm here in Florida. We're not, you know, some chop shop located in Portugal or UK or Spain, here, there, and everywhere. We are a traditional real estate brokerage, but fortunately, we just focus on investment properties and dealing with foreign investors. And then finally, we may have other questions when we submit, uh, when we proceed to purchase, which is great. Uh, I'll just go over the purchase process real, with you real quick while I have you uh, watching, watching me on video, talking to myself. Um, first thing is a reservation and deposit. It's a one-page form that just asks for your basic information, who's going to be on the contract, uh, you know, contact details, phone number, email, all that good stuff, your mailing address. Uh, and then finally, a $5,000 holding deposit, which can be taken on a major credit card uh, that goes directly to the title company. We don't touch any of your money. It's all held in a secure escrow through this title company slash solicitors, as you call them over there. Uh, and then two days later, you would receive the property contract, which is a standard, uh, I think it's eight to 10 page Florida Farbar contract, they call it. That's, they use no matter what property company, um, Throughout all of Florida, it's all exactly, it's a cookie cutter contract, very simple and straightforward uh, that I could obviously review with you. And then finally, depending on the set completion date, which will probably be anywhere from 15 to 30 days after contract, uh, you'd receive the closing documents, which looks like a balance sheet. So you see exactly where all the funds are moving to. And then there's two pages you have to sign on that. Uh, and then you retain 100% freehold ownership of the property. Uh, three to four weeks after that, you'd receive the physical deed in the mail. You'd see your ownership on the county website, the, the government county website. And then also, if you're ever in town, you could go to the county courthouse and they'll pull out the records uh, and they'll have the recorded deed at the county itself at the courthouse with your name uh, and whoever else, else name you decide to put on the contract. So I hope this answers most of your questions. I know I kind of dragged it out a little bit, but... Um, 
I think that pretty much nails everything you had right there, those 12 questions, which certainly is a good way to start today. Anything else, please forward them to me, and I'll be happy to help you out then. Speak soon.